going on everybody welcome back to jelly goon tv welcome back to all my beautiful viewers and subscribers of course welcome back to the gorgeous jelly goon squad today we have another video we're gonna react to but before we get to that i want to say please do check the social medias down below check out facebook discord instagram everything like that go over there click it of course if you want to please do support the discord is where we we'll have my family but uh, today we have a very special video we're gonna learn about the russian culture and what do they have in the grocery shop how do they eat how do they do their things but uh, I haven't seen the video, so I don't know how much you're going to explain. But we're going to go grocery shopping in Russia, St. Petersburg. Food prices, how much the black, black caviar cost. So we're going to get into the culture of the Russian people. And we're going to see how much the market is and how much it costs in supermarkets in Russia. I'm really interested to learn that. So we're going to go with this beautiful lady right here. And we're going to go and see what's going on. So without further ado, let's get into this one. Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Svetlana and today Hello, Svetlana. I will do grocery shopping in St. Petersburg store in Russia. Mm. The store is called Lenta, which is a chain Lenta. supermarket and it translates from Russian to English as a ribbon. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some prices, some things that we have here. Yes, of course, please. So at first we need to take a trolley. Like in Denmark, yes. To get a trolley here, you need to put some coins in here to, to be able to get the trolley. Of course. So I just came to the supermarket with a list of things that I need to get. But of course I'm gonna get some extra because every time you go to a big store like this, you always get some things that you didn't need True. before you came here. Well, you, you buy something you don't need, that's, right a, that's a must. There's a section for kids. Oh. There's a lot of uh, kids meals and the prices are for example a bottle like this of uh, beef in a bottle. Uh, cost 60 rubles. A little bit bi bigger bottle with something like carrot and uh, meatballs costs 123 rubles. It's one dollar. There's also Woo! a small section with clothes. For example, a beanie like this is only 279 rubles, which is really, really cheap and doesn't look that bad. It looks good. There's a little sock section, just a really basic sock. It's basically just a supermarket like we have at home. Basic black socks, so I'm gonna get a few. Lots of women's tights, all different colors, swords, anything you like. It's good for and you. The prices are there's nothing more than 300 rubles. And these tights are 99 rubles. It's just a little bit. I don't know why I would use that, but yeah, Some okay. I get it. Also 69 rubles. I'm gonna take a few. Look, guys, there is even fitting rooms if you want to try some of the <laughs> Nice. Clothes. That's well, good. I didn't see this before in supermarkets like this. There is a little promo section. For example, this candy is really popular candy in Russia. It's called Korkunov. Right now you can ah. get it for 100 rubles for a pack. This is a deal, guys. Nice. Does it taste good? Oh my god, I love these. Another Oof. symbol of every new year is Coca-Cola. Of course. And my favorite is vanilla. I love really? it so much. Do you guys have it in your country? Yes, we do. We this have it in Denmark too, I guess. We have a lot of things in Denmark, oh, basically. Uh, a big bottle of a shampoo like this. It's only cost 83 rubles, which is just a little bit over a dollar. And it's a Russian brand called Chista Linia. Wow, really? And this really? mask right here is my all-time favorite mask. It's my favorite mask in the world. This is, is amazing. I have super long blonde hair. And this mask is a savior for my hair. And the it's price good. is only 127 rubles, which is extremely cheap. But the result is just fantastic. Mm, well, nice. Is my second so this is basically for girls. Lighter. So girls, listen up to this video. Go over and support this girl, amazing. of course. She shows a lot of things, but it's a kind of a thing to get a perspective in it. For the face, it's only one dollar, and it's really harsh. I know some people don't like to use harsh scrubs, but I do love it, and it really works for me. So if you are in Russia, I really, really, really recommend it for all girls, even boys. Good, but I'm not a girl. <laughs> items as well, beautiful towels. This one, for example, huge one. And the price is 900 rubles, which is quite expensive. And now finally we're going to my favorite, favorite food section, which is food. Of course. Love food. Amazing. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Cake oh my. 
lots and lots and lots of different cakes. Don't put me in there. Huge Don't like put me in there. I'll buy everything, man. I swear. I'm going to buy everything, I swear. 759 rubles. Let me pause it. We don't have that in Denmark. We don't have cakes like this all around, scattered around. Like in America, it's just freaking amazing, man. Um, it's just beautiful. And, I, you know, if I ever get to this island uh, or this isle, isle, it's called, I will eat everything up. I will buy everything up. I see they have Harbo too. Haribo. Harbo too. That is uh, German. We eat that a lot in Denmark. Let's go. Amazing, man. I store has a lot of promotions for example if you see the red how is it called red yeah 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 yeah. Thing. okay <laughs> i forgot how it's called then it means the the product is on sale and the yellow one is the regular let me pause here that's actually amazing because in denmark it's the obvious it's the it's the other side yellow is cheap and the other one is just normal white or something like that it's just normal that's actually funny to see that they take different colors and do different things with it I actually really do enjoy that a lot. There's a different style, a different culture. Why did you choose this color instead of this color? You know, there's there's a lot of things there, man. But I just wanted to say it's different in Denmark. Yellow is basically very cheap. And uh, yeah, let's go. You got, you're not drinking there's wine, girl. Ramen noodles. <laughs> and the most famous mm. brands are Rolton and Doshirak. Oh, really? I always keep a few at home just in case I get super hungry and there is no time or energy to cook. But unfortunately, there is no my favorite flavor today. Then oh, I will take so... this one because Ooh. it's also with beef and I like it because it's super spicy. It says like, uh, taste the flame. So let's taste try the that. flame, really? Oh, wow. Salt. A pack like this. It's one kilo. 69 rubles. Mm. How cute is this one? Looks like matryoshka doll. 49 rubles. A pack of rice, 900 grams, is 136 rubles. Let me pause here real quick. I just want to check out the valuta in my country. I just figured out the prices. It is very cheap. Let's go. thing of every Russian kitchen is the buckwheat. We have all different types and sorts of it. There's even huge packs of buckwheat like this because Russians do really eat it a lot. For example, nice. this big pack, it's uh, one and a half kgs and it's 184 rubles, which is pretty, pretty cheap. Very cheap, yeah. Pack like this, 900 grams, 84 rubles and there is a promotion on it right now. Amazing, man. There's a lot of cheap prices in Russia, I must say. It's amazing. Granola, different types, 184. 161 this one looks good for people who don't have much time they can just uh, buy the pack that's already pre-packed in a little bags like this and you just boil one bag in a pan and uh, 10 minutes later it's ready oh, nice are really famous in russia 
Oh yeah, they eat that a lot, right? That's what you told me, they eat a lot of, uh, yeah, <clears throat> seeds, basically. What is the fruit prices? Oh wow, look at that. I'm going to Russia. <laughs> So the clean carrot costs 35 rubles and the unwashed ones only 11.39. What a big difference. Oh wow, I'm the yeah 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 that's why I'm posted up. Oh wow, nice. What's good so they have the fresh fish. You can also buy fresh fish that's still alive and swimming there. Nice. Also some crabs. Beautiful. The price of these guys is 1,300. Of course, I would definitely pay that 100%. 100%. Uh, cancers, I think it's cancer. Is uh, one and a half. What cancer? For a kilo of those. Oh wow! Look at that! Oh my God, bro! Oh yeah, I'm about to cry. That There's is sexy. Some steak from like this fancy meat, and the price for this little piece is 329 rubles. What? Pork ribs, a pack like this, is 349. What? Russia is really famous for its caviar, so that is cheap. <laughs> kinds of it, and the small can like this, only 95 grams. It's 279 rubles, and there is more expensive options. For example, 1,429 rubles for a um, jar, 200 grams. Mm. And as you can see, it's really protected from stealing. A box of herring, 500 grams, like this, 119 rubles. Wow, really cheap. that's cheap. Lots of herring. There is also fake red and black ah, caviar. Yeah, we got that in Denmark too. That's the fake caviar, thing. It's just like made out of fish that looks like caviar, but not actually a caviar. And it's super, super cheap. 86 no, but it tastes good, I guess. Fish. It's good. And the black one It's not is bad. The black one is good. 79 for a small jar like this. But honestly, I don't recommend. It's not delicious at all. Hey! Stinky fish. Hey! No, we got dumplings, it on food, on, on, on fish, dumplings, like it's good. Dumplings. Russians love dumplings. You love dumplings? They are called pilmeni, and we have oh. so many different options that you cannot see anywhere in the world. And the prices are not bad at all. It's from 200 to 400 to 450 nice. rubles. Pretty affordable price. And here we have some really good quality of it. And these are actually... Siberian collection from Siberia. Nice, wow. This is where I'm from. Okay. Oh, you're from Siberia, nice. Special section for all Russian people. Russian people love their milk products. Me personally, I don't, but Russians do. So the amount of milk products you can find in Russia, you cannot find anywhere else in the world. That's so amazing. This is just the beginning and it goes all over there and there's aisles and aisles and aisles. <coughs> they just love milk. Amazing, man. No, it's good. Stuff. I love this these things. This is a Russian brand yogurt, two layers yogurt. Uh, one pack like this, not four, but just one, will be 29 rubles. This one, also Russian, and a bigger bottle will be 44. And lots of condensed milk, of course, because it's Russia, and <laughs> Russians are really proud of their condensed milk. Of course, I understand that. Pretty cheap, Let me pause here. So I did not know that Russians were really proud of their milk. Like the way that they preserve milk and the way they drink milk. It's very amazing to see. You see, you learn everything so quickly. You learn something every single day you're watching these videos because I did not know that Russian people love their milk so much. It's really amazing to see and it's really beautiful and it really, you know, prizes my heart because I love milk too. I think milk is very gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, that's actually very funny to hear that they really do love milk. It's very interesting to learn about the culture in Russia. Very nice. I learn everything every day. Let's go. Like a dollar, 64, less than a dollar, 92, 75 for a pack like this. You can also get a little bottle. Yes. Bottle, good. And you can see how it looks like inside. 200. Wow. And more milk. And more milk. Some sour cream. 
<laughs> wow. They have a lot of milk products. Butter and cheese. And more milk products. Prostokvashino, a Russian brand. 315 gram of a sour cream like this. 39 rubles. Ah. This is a little section of products from the farm, from a local farm nearby St. Petersburg. Really? A bottle of kefir. No, it's not kefir. This is kefir. Kefir is like fermented milk, really famous in Russia. 79. I would definitely Cottage support that. 132. And sour cream, 500 grams for a bottle like this. 159. Nice. I would definitely support that. Wow. And three hours later, that's what <laughs> I got. And now it's time to pay for it. And let's see how much this whole basket will cost us. Yeah, that's the annoying part. To put it all up on this, it's annoying as hell. I'm saying, man. This is how much food we got at the end. So many bags. And don't forget, we have two big fishes. And it cost us 9,789. It's just a little bit above $100. And I think for a little more than $100, it's a lot of food. What? And that's a pretty good deal. And I would say that you cannot get that much food for the same price. It's 813 Danish. Country. I'm just wow. comparing it to like America or Europe. And in Russia, it's definitely cheaper. You can see it for yourself. And out of all this, I think this was the most expensive purchase. <laughs> it's uh, Venus. Ah, Russia. okay. It's uh, expensive everywhere, and Russia is not an exception. And, uh, still, no, but it's because it's a European or Western dollars. product, now I guess. We need to load all these bags into a taxi, and we're home. And now we're waiting for a taxi. I'm here with my mom, actually. And we live like really, really close by to this grocery store. But since we have so many bags, we cannot carry them all mm. uh, by hand. We got a taxi. It's about five minute drive and the taxi was $1.15. Can you believe that? That's unbelievable. By the way, to get this money back... That you, yeah, you just have to put it in beside, to on the, the other side. Back to yeah. the station. But sometimes we just too lazy to walk back to yeah. the trolley station <laughs> and we just leave the car here. That is so true. Someone else that is so true. That is so true. Takes our money. All right, let me pause you, man. That was amazing, man. What a beautiful girl. Really do love this vlog. Thank you so much for making this video. I really do um, respect it a lot. I really do appreciate a lot for people like me just showing what Russia is about and what the marketing is about, putting it into dollars and everything like that. I'm from Denmark, so I'm not counting in dollars, but I really do appreciate this girl for what she's doing to us and what she is helping with. And this is what I want to do when I come out in the world, of course. I want to show around what's going on. So yeah, um, really, really beautiful. Really do love Russia. Didn't I know they love milk so much? It's just amazing to see, man. I really appreciate that. That is awesome. I really do love these videos to learn the perspective culture of Russians, Russians day-to-day -day job, Russians day-to-day -day life, like what is going on. So yeah, anyway, this is a beautiful video. Really do love it a lot. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Please do subscribe. Please hit the notification button in order to get uh, updated on newest videos that come to this channel, of course, and you will to be a member of Jelly Goon Squad. Please do subscribe. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, so it'd be massively appreciated if you would support, of course. Anyway, guys and girls, also comment down below what you think about this video. What do you think about the experience in Russia? Do you think it's very cheap? But this is St. Petersburg. Like, this is uh, this is an uh, expensive city, they say, to me. So, yeah. Please let me know down below what is going on. Uh, what is your city? Is your city very cheap? Please let me visit. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys and girls, I love you so much. And I'm going to see you until the next one. Peace.